Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Decay of Logos. This game was made by Epify Creations and published by Raising Stars Game. So, this game does have like a lot of negative reviews for some reason, and I'm interested to see why. But I'm more of open minded when it comes to like different games. Well, well, with certain games, <laughs> I'm really open minded, but 90% of the time I'm open minded about games. But let me read the Steam bio or description for you guys. Immerse yourself in the world of Decay of Logos and unravel its mysteries. Explore old dungeons, battle unforgiving foes, journey through a vibrant, interconnected fantasy realm with your mystical elk companion. And that's pretty much it. It's a Souls-like, apparently. Okay. Oh, I have my controller in. Push any button. Is it any button on my um, controller? <laughs> I'm pushing buttons, but it's not going. It's not working. Okay. So we're finally in. For some reason, I had to unplug my controller because it wasn't recognizing my Xbox controller. So, yeah, that's. Already an issue. Alright, sinking. Pretty good. I don't think I need to change my sensitivity. What's the highest you can go? Very high? What's it look like if I put everything on very high? Oh, no. Motion blur has to go disable that. I hate motion blur. But never mind. <laughs> Seems like all those settings are already at max. Let's go in. Check it out. See the world, the adventures that we'll get into. This game is also twenty dollars, by the way. Just jumping straight into it. Oh, okay. This this controls are kind of weird. Yeah, the controls are really weird. She even runs weird for it. It's not like a full-on turning system. It's like one of those. It's kind of like um. How do I explain it? You know when you would go backwards. And your character would turn. It's kind of like that, but it feels weird. It's not like a direct turn backwards. Fighting is kind of weird too. And also, I apologize because my mother is making food in there. If you guys can hear that. I mean, the game looks nice though. I feel like a lot of my deaths are going to be due to controls. Graphics, animations, right now during like cutscenes and stuff like that. See, not just him. I won't lie, it looks really amazing, actually. Especially the water, Jesus. Hey, right, bro, you're not putting that on me. Get away from me. <laughs> Not bonded yet. I 
Okay, that was weird. I thought she would at least pick up the whole thing and not just pieces of it. But alright. Ah, oh, you fed me. Now you can ride me. That's all I wanted was a Snickers. <laughs> Now we ride off into the sunset. The K of Logos. I wasn't sure if that was running or not. <laughs> I had a lot of questions there, not. Come, my companion. Okay, yeah, it feels like kind of delay. When I'm hitting. Oh, the classic kick <laughs> to open the chest. Okay, so no auto collect when you open the chest. All right. So I'm guessing that's little hints or either just dialogue or lore. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Do we have that potion on us? I don't think we did. Oh, I gotta feed you? Oh, you're a stubborn one. Oh, you're gonna be one of those stubborn companions, huh? You little douche. Whoops. So, oh yeah, it does appear on us. Oh, we pick it up. I like that. That's like a little neat detail. Alright. There's strong attacks and light attacks. Yeah, there's like a... It takes a while to hit after you unsheath your sword. Like, hold on. Put your sword away. I want to at least let you guys hear. Hopefully you guys can hear. Yeah, there's like a two-click delay. Most people, when they take out the sword, they want to go straight into it. But nah, I, I think that's just like a little nitpick. It just felt weird because as soon as I take out the sword, I felt like I should attack, but at the same time... What? what? Oh. Hi. That's a parry. Am I blocking? The hell is this? Prey? Is this saving? Is this our bonfire? Okay, I'm guessing that's our bonfire. Let's go, buddy. I don't know why I push M to try and make up like a mini map. Or a map of some sort. <laughs> Let's jump and hold Alt. To that's weird. I don't think I like Alt to sprint. That's very weird. We have ourselves a little jump button. It's not really a jump button, it's kind of just more of a leap. Where are we going? This is a dead end? Oh wow, it drains our mana real well, our stamina real fast. Gotta be careful on that one. Buddy, where'd you go? Ah, really? I was about to say, can I cut these out? Character has a lot of step in too. Just a few things to note in order to survive.
Uh oh. Alright. Just sitting there majestic. Let's go, buddy. Oh. Hi. Ah, oh, you little bastard. Are you a mandrake? Is that what you are? Yeah, he seems like a mandrake. Buddy. Are, are you okay? Come on. Get off get off this Thank you. Jeez. I'm not gonna have you get lost. I don't need you screaming in my ears. What is he doing? <laughs> Whatever, dude. You do you. I'm gonna go on. It's not like I can ride you right now anyway. So since this is a soul like, I'm guessing we can go anywhere we want. Oh, hi. I'm fast as fuck, dude, even when crouching. You really want some of this? Pairing isn't too bad. Just because they're kind of readable, to be honest. Feels bad, dude. I'm taking this. <laughs> this is mine now. Your soul is mine. Oh, this is a mask I, I took from him. Oh. I have taken the mask of his people. Is he still back there? Probably. We're going to continue on our path without our buddy. Are you gonna come alive later? Or did somebody already kill you? Who could have done this and left that one alive? Or did they kill each other? Ah, you little shit. What? How dare you interrupt my. Okay. Walls. Every time, man. Any game. Walls are my weakness. Okay. I really do need to get the controls down. So we have use item, SQ, let's see, <laughs> okay lock on is your middle map, that's weird, <laughs> I always want to push escape twice just to get out of, okay, and the game is, oh, oh okay there we go. That could be bad. Oh, and there's no sound. Okay, there it is. I was like, what is going on here? Oh, wow. I use up a lot of stamina when parrying. That's weird. My strong attack is not as good as my uh, light attack. That's for sure. Wow, and the lock-on is kind of weird, too. Wow, my strong attack is useless, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Okay. So I never really want to use my strong attack. It doesn't really do as much damage as I would think. Alright, so I got these berries to go get my elk friend whenever. Hey, buddy.
That... Okay, yeah, the controls are really weird. <laughs> so I can... Oh, okay, so random items can poison you. Then what's the point? <laughs> I guess you gotta be careful of whatever's on the ground. Okay, interesting. What, you wanna come at me, bro? What's up? Wow. That doesn't have like a lot of step in either. I run out of stamina so fast. Please tell me I can level up in this game and level up my stamina. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with normal attacks. Oh, we got arrows. So that means we can unlock like a bow later. Poison isn't too dangerous, thankfully. over here way in echo collected oh huh. interesting whoa okay that all right, <laughs> my first death. So do I spawn on my elk friend? Because my elk friend is like far, far away from me. But, oh no, I probably probably spawn at that um, shrine, right? Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, why weren't you there? Pretty sure I get to keep my items, right? Don't be a bitch, dude. Let me on. Okay, so all the gear I find is breakable. So it's not permanent gear. Noted. So what happens if I lose my sword? Because my sword looks like it's seen better days right now. That's definitely not a good thing. Let me guess, when I go up here, I'm going to have to fight this guy. The other thing that makes it difficult is you don't get potions. Like, when you rest, it's literally without potions. At least the parry is pretty fast, but you run out of stamina, so you can't do it too often. That's a pretty long window. I see what they're going for, to be honest. I really do see what they're going for. The game just needs a lot of work. That's that's the only thing. There are quite a few things that they can change and make better. They definitely gotta work on the combat of the enemies and the character. You know, can't really call it too much of a Souls-like just because it's... Eh, there's just something about it. That's kind of forgiving in it. Okay, why am I walking? Just because the enemies aren't like too aggressive, and you, on the other hand, have like really weird controls. Get me out. Is, is that you right there? Please don't break your ankles or into something. I'm gonna take this loot first, then I'll come and save you, dude. <laughs> Good to know that there's voice acting now. That's pretty interesting. So I'm guessing your elk friend is the one who carries all your weapons and stuff. Are you the guy who's trapped in here? Door's locked. No shit. I 
say, can I not break that? I mean, if he's trapped in there, of course. Why is it so hit hard to hit crates? Something fell out. It fell on the other side. Oh my god, please. Don't let this be one of those games. Where items can fall on the other side of the wall. Or an object. And you can't get it. That would be a really terrible experience. But to be honest, when they polished it a lot more... This could actually be like a really, really amazing game. And I question auto sheathing your sword. Just because it takes so long to get it back out, and it doesn't really help too much. Like me personally, I'd rather have the sword out and put it up myself for like different actions, you know? So let's say if I need to climb those stairs, I can sheath my sword myself, or it'll auto sheath. Then I don't sheath. You know, let the player sheath when the you know have their sword out. They all sound like they're behind this door. Oh yeah, they're definitely all behind that door. Okay, the lever right there. Here's your lever. Open the door and tell them all to catch these hands right now. What's good? You were attacking me on the other side of the door. What's good? What do you, what beef you got? You alright? What beef you got, dude? What's up? What's up? Mr. Waddles, huh? Uh, you got a problem with me, dude? Huh? You got a problem? Do we have a problem? What? Do something. Huh? Huh? Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, I gotta be faster than that one, boy. Ah, damn it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You made your argument perfectly clear on that one. Right, nice talking with you. Hitting crates is going to be annoying. Okay. And things like that is going to be annoying too. Yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to be done right there. So hopefully the devs are watching like multiple videos, you know, trying to figure out what they can and can't change as an item pickup. Okay, so you can only carry a certain amount of, like, potions. Ah, uh, look at these bad boys. Maybe they'll just get more aggressive as we go. I'm faster than you, bitch. Oh, God. Wait, why is it auto target? Okay, because I'm moving my mouse. That's what it is. Okay, I don't think I like auto targeting too much. Well targeting system when it comes to like multiple enemies. I rather have the choice to tab between those. But we're getting armor, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. So this is where all of our equipment is at. So they're going for like a little Zelda approach for most of this. Which is pretty interesting. I think we have a debuff or something. That little blue symbol right there. 
Apparently, I think it dropped an item. Whatever is like sleeping over here sounds real thick. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh, you thought you were fucking cool, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you thought it was a game. Well, it is a game, but you know what? We're not going to talk about it. Oh, was your walls are really cramping my style, dude. Hold on, let me drink this potion right quick. I want to see, can I parry him? No, you, you can't parry that. Eh, not too much. Ah, oh, come on, that one attack. Yeah, stamina is like a big issue in this game. So you gotta really watch out for that. Pretty interesting-ish game. But yeah, like I said, it needs a lot of work. And mostly certain potions aren't worth picking up. I would recommend, personally myself, picking up the um, stamina. Well, not stamina, the HP potions. So this gets rid of any poison. And this gets rid of... Oh, puts out any burn effects. Yeah, most of these aren't worth picking up. I would say just pick up actual potions that heals you. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna move these to you, okay? And you can collect other stuff, right? Or is it forced to swap out? No, I think you can store it. Dude, I've been trying to give you these damn berries. Okay, there they are. God damn it, stop moving! You're, you're fucking... You know what, me and you aren't going to be good friends in a few seconds. I at least want to ride you before this video ends. Okay, I fed it to your brain. We're not going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, come on. I swear to God, if you're still hungry after this, we're fighting. Yeah, that's what I thought. Stress? Dude, I'm the only one stressed here, okay? You don't get to say you're stressed. Oh, you, you have a kick? Oh, I kick you. Okay, noted. Oh, you're like really weird to control. Giddy up! Go! Basta! Ah, really? You bastards are back. God damn it, dude. You're not helping this situation. Is there an option to murder the elk? I mean, what? Anyway, okay. Instead of exploring out there, because that temple really didn't have anything else in it, except for that guy who's stuck in that cage. Our elk is kind of really retarded. He has issues. Like, he starts to walk when there's enemies nearby, so he's not really worth using. If anything, I would just clear a path to the next um, bonfire and leave him at each bonfire. He's not really worth carrying around or worrying about too much. Trust me, it's better just to leave him. You'll be doing yourself a solid instead of dealing with his um, mechanics and stuff. I mean, but he does help you carry loot, though. That's for sure. So the whites and the red potions are the best ones to bring with you. Well, more grayish potions. Um, it's over here. Yeah, you can open up shortcuts just to let them through. But yeah, I explored that um, area once more where the um, Burled had killed me. Yeah, it's not really much in there. There's probably something further beyond it, but I just wanted to see over here. 
Okay, no, this is just another way around. Okay. So not too much. So at one point you're gonna have to avoid fighting these guys because you won't have a weapon at all. There's no upgrading weapons in this game either. So there's no reason to stay attached to a weapon. Especially if you played um, Zelda. Which one was it? Um, I don't actually remember because I never really played Zelda games. If only I could slide down this hill. That would be pretty interesting. Just hold slide and just continue to slide down slopes. That sounds like a lot of fun. So what's this? Oh, this is a resting spot? So this is where you completely heal. Oh, so you have to sleep. Just to get back your stuff is what I'm guessing? Oh, it goes to a loading screen. That's weird. So does my elk friend catch up if I do that? That's the real question. Oh, he does. So sleeping is probably the best way to get your elk to travel with you. So yeah, leave your elk. Just find a resting spot. He'll come sooner or later. There's no point in trying to bring him through everything. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I was gonna toy with you, but never mind. Okay, a hearty potion. Are you over here just screaming, elk buddy? Okay. You don't seem like you're okay. I'll take that. I wonder how many things that our elk buddy can store. I, I doubt he can store a lot, to be honest. I mean, he seems pretty useless after a while. I was not trying to jump on here. I don't want to ride you, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, all I want you to do is be my storage mule. I'm sorry. Uh, that's just literally what he is, is a storage mule. Alright, let's go, buddy. I guess I'm going to have to use you to step on that, since you're big, fat, and thick. What? What is this stuff? Nothing I can jump on. Or leap on. Okay. No shit, my sword's almost broken. It's not like you can actually hit these uh, chests or roll into them. What the fuck? Hello? Oh, buddy, I need your thickness. Where the hell did you go? Hello? I'm gonna cook this thing, I swear. He is gonna become a five-star mill in the next few seconds if that motherfucker went all the way up. Dude, I'm gonna cook you, I swear. You are literally gonna become my freaking dinner. So I guess there is a reason to bring this thing. Come on. Go, go, go. I will kick you even more. Just stab him with the sword. I think he'll go faster. If, okay. You know what? If you're going to keep turning around, try to do your own thing. You may think this is violent, but it's not. 
This is just me asserting my dominance. <laughs> Now, stand on top of the thing. I don't care if you're stressed or not. Stand, stand on this. <sighs> really? Is this really what I want to deal with right now? You are really fighting me when my patients are running thin. If this thing goes upside that fucking mountain again, I blame you. No, where the fuck do you think you're going? Don't, don't you even attempt it. Once we get past this wall, I think I'm going to end it there. Because my insanity is going up pretty fast. Along with his stress. But my insanity is a lot faster. No, steadily climbing. <laughs> yeah, you're fatter than I am. Thanks. Thanks for opening the door. Uh, I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm assuming it's a boss, so you know. Let's get down to it. Come for that ass, boy. Okay, why can you just travel up that. He's going to try and head back. Okay, apparently you can just get stepped on once and immediately die. <laughs> I don't think we had a, uh, another save point because I think the prey is a checkpoint. So they're going to make you fight through all that other stuff again, I think. I mean, we have arrows, but I have yet to find, like, a bow or anything. Which would actually be nice. Oh, no, this is a save point. Okay. I mean, my weapon is going to die anyway, so that fight would have been really bad to have. But, yeah. That has been Decay of... <sighs> Logos. Insanity Dropper. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But it's actually pretty interesting, not too bad. It's challenging for sure. I just not a huge fan of the controls. But if you can look past that, it's actually a pretty interesting and you know open challenge game. <laughs> if you want to deal with this motherfucker right here, running off, or you know, not refusing to be a horse, you know. Horses are faster than you, you know that, right? Yeah, I'm saying it right now. Cuddle? Why the hell would I want to cuddle this damn thing for all it's putting me through? You're not fast at all. You literally fill me with deep dark despair. Anywho, let's let's go ahead and end it off there before I go into like a deep depressing moment. <laughs> but overall, the graphics pretty interesting. Combat yeah, kinda iffy. And the enemies and challenge is actually pretty, you know, up there. But I don't even think there's like a rolling system, is there? So you're going to have to pick and choose when you fight, right? Yeah, I think the F and R thing is... Oh, God damn it. I hate not being able to push escape to get back out. I've been trying to figure out this whole power thing for a while. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and end it off there. This is my life now. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.